hello guys welcome back to the channel it's vivian up here and for today i have a whipping chat for you guys this is my first whipping chat and um, if you guys know don't know what a whipping chat is that's basically um, i'm working on my work in progress and just chatting a bit with you guys and since you guys don't really much don't know really much about me i thought it, this is the perfect occasion to tell something about me and this diamond painting as promised in my post on instagram from this week so enough about that let's get started um yeah first getting my drills in my tray so guys, how are you today? I'm actually doing pretty good. The weather is getting nice here in the Netherlands. Spring is really showing itself and I'm really enjoying that. So it's sunny and it's getting a bit warmer. And this weekend we're going on a little break with our family and I'm really looking forward to that so today I've packed all our stuff we need and then this afternoon we'll drive to our holiday house and we'll stay there for this weekend um, yeah like I said I thought this was the right time to tell you guys a bit about me well you know my name that's Vivian I'm from the Netherlands I am 21 years old I am married with my lovely husband and we have a beautiful daughter and she is one and a half year and a bit I won't tell their names because of their privacy I think it's fine if you guys know me but yeah I'm on YouTube and they're not so I hope you guys are fine with that. Um, um, in our daily lives, I work as an optician, so with eyes and glasses, and contacts and stuff. I really like my job. Sometimes it's a little hard. Even it's harder now with COVID. We have to do our works completely different than we used to. So yeah, I'm probably not the only one with that problem. But I still really enjoy my work. Even though we all have to wear masks and keep distance between customers sometimes it's a little hard but we'll get there we'll get there um yeah i don't have that uh, special life or something just addicted to crafting maybe that's a fun story to talk about when um, I was 18 I met my husband and um, it was at a festival and um, we immediately fell in love when we saw each other I was with a friend of mine to the festival and he was with a friend of his to the festival and 
our friends knew each other so they wanted to see each other and enjoy a while together um so they went to see each other and we were with them and um yeah like i said we fell in love immediately and uh that was in may 2018 and in november 2018 i found out actually it was december i found out i was pregnant no it was not really planned but we were really happy with it and yeah we were just happy and like everyone else who's getting <laughs> pregnant even at some older stage in your life but everyone around us was really positive and happy for us and sometimes it was a little hard because when you're young you don't earn that much money at work and you don't have to spend so much in the month so we were having a rough time with finding a house and um, getting all the stuff for the baby so that was a little hard but we went through it and we enjoyed every moment of it if I could go back in time I don't think I would have done anything differently except for me chilling out a more a bit more um, I was really stressed and really afraid things won't get fixed in time and I think that's also normal when you're pregnant you have that feeling and um, yeah so in Holland we have this I don't know how to call that in English but when you're 34 or 36 weeks pregnant you get um, yeah, free from work I like I said I don't know how to call it in English but um, then you have 16 weeks off to enjoy your baby and your body so your body can heal from the the from giving labor giving birth my English isn't that good I'm sorry and um, I thought okay I don't have to work what the hell am I going to do so I went on Instagram and YouTube and I've always liked these um, crafting tutorials like crocheting and um, drawing and things like that so when I was around 32 weeks I guess pregnant we were at that same festival yes I was really really pregnant and went through went to a festival maybe not the best choice you could make but everything went fine except for my back because I couldn't sleep on that mattress on the ground so yeah and I have to go really off into the bathroom so then it was like four o'clock at night and everyone was asleep and there I went to the bathroom out of my tent and then security was like hey what you doing and then I showed my belly see I'm so pregnant I need to go to pee oh oh then that's fine and how was the baby doing and how are you doing and everyone's so sweet at that festival and um, then we went there and we went at the, the merchandise shop and I saw this coloring book adult coloring book 
and I really liked it so I bought it and then I was like now I have something to do but when I was like 36 weeks pregnant and actually had that time off I wasn't able to sit on a chair for a long time and I need to figure out to do something else. So I went on YouTube again and then I saw DIY Fluffies crocheting a really nice bunny and the tutorial was so clear and I immediately called my husband like I'm going to buy yarn and um, pillow stuffing or I don't know stuffing and a hook and all stuff you need with crocheting and he was like okay that's fine go ahead I don't think you'll like it so a couple days later all the stuff came in and I started to watch that same tutorial again and it was hard the tutorial was around one and a half hour long I guess but I was maybe three or four hours later finishing the bunny or cat I don't know exactly what it was but I thought it was a bunny so yeah that was uh, fun but I really enjoyed it and I start practicing and um, reading uh, patterns so I could read patterns and not only watch tutorials and I really really enjoyed it and um, I also thought it was really fun I could crotchet my own fluffies for our baby because I loved being busy with things for our baby in every possible way so When the baby was there, I couldn't crotch it because, yeah, you know, things hurt a little when you got a child. So I couldn't sit and I hated to crotch it in bed. So I think I did crotch thing for like one and a half year and spent way too money on it too much money and i still have so many yarn and so many hooks and pillows and all stuff for using for crotch thing and i really am going to crush it again i really really am because i really enjoyed it but for now diamond painting is just giving me more satisfaction because you know I really loved crocheting amigurumi things also blanket but amigurumi that was my go-to so sometimes I was really tired of counting all the stitches and stuff like that so I wanted something where I didn't have to count so much and then my little sister came up with this really cheap mini size it's blue, snack size snack size so talking is hard today diamond painting she got from our mom and i've always been into color by number so I was like, can I try this? And I really loved it. And 
I didn't know where to buy things, so I got it from her. And I guess it was a partial from like 10 by 20 centimeters. So I had it finished in like a day. But it was only to try if I liked it before buying diamond paintings and spending my many money on it. And um, when I finished it, I ordered my first diamond painting. I ordered it at Homefun on AliExpress because by then I didn't know about licensed artwork and stuff like that. And I didn't want to spend much money on it because I was afraid if I spent much money on it and I was like two weeks on track or something. I didn't like it and then I thought it was a waste of money. So I bought this 60 by 60 centimeters diamond painting with round rails. It was with all these uh, kind of cactus flowers stuff. And it was really beautiful. It had so many colors and it really turned out great. And I even think that now I have more experiences with diamond painting. And when I was, I guess, halfway, I ordered some more at Home Fun on AliExpress because I was like, well, when the quality is good and it's not much money, why spending much money on it when I don't have to? So. I bought them again. I bought three. The unboxing is still on my Instagram though. And uh, one was for me and my sister to do together when I was at their house. And we're still working on it. And it's getting really beautiful. It's also with cactus flowers. Succulents. I don't know how to call that. And I bought another one with really much cacti and flowers and it was a really beautiful picture though. They were all around by the way. And I bought another one that was with one big flower. It was so pretty. And the drill field was so clear and the quality of the drills were so good. So I really enjoyed it and uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I really enjoyed these paintings except for the one with the many cactuses and flowers. It was a round one, also a 60 by 60, but there was so many confetti. And if you don't know what confetti is, it means like when in one section of your diamond painting are so many colors. Like this section I'm working on right now is pretty much color blocking. That's when there are uh, not so many colors in one section and I hated this confetti painting and the drills weren't from good quality and the drill field was way less clearer than the other paintings so it really let me down so I thought well now is the point I'm going to hate diamond painting but I didn't, but because I was going to try some square diamond paintings. Someone from my work, she was diamond painting too, and she once told me that round drills are way more easy because they fit in every possible way because they're round. 
and with square you have to way more precise and it takes so much longer and she was really negative about uh, square drills but that's okay everyone has his own thing and I was like okay I'm going to try these square drills because I am a person who is kind of precise and yeah so I thought I'd like it so I've go I've gone to Aliexpress Again, I don't know, I didn't got it from Home Fun, but I kind of remember what store I did it get from. But um, I ordered a couple of small snack size square diamond paintings. And they came in really fast, only two weeks, I guess. And um, they were also cactus or flowers or plants or stuff like that because I'm just a flower person and I didn't know that because before I started diamond painting so that's a good thing I uh, discovered uh, myself a bit more but um, the point is I got these small snack size diamond painting i believe they were 24 by 36 centimeters because i thought if i didn't if i wouldn't like the square drills um then it wasn't a complete waste of money and i wanted to finish them quick and actually i really really love them i even enjoyed them more than the round diamond paintings I did. So I really got back into the diamond painting again and I've ordered a couple of more square diamond paintings on AliExpress. Still not knowing what licensed artwork was. So I got them and um, I don't know what ones I did. I did a couple of them and really enjoyed them and a couple of them are here up on my walls, one in my kitchen and one in my daughter's bedroom. It's a really cute giraffe. I really love it and she does also. But um, yeah my last one so my Instagram too was a 40 by 80 uh, lotus flower, I believe it is. And it was a really full, beautiful picture, but the drill field wasn't clear and the darkest colors, it wasn't treat then, I believe. I don't know, it was a really, really dark blue. The square drills were all a different size, so they didn't fit at all and I hated it but I really convinced myself I was going to finish it but then Diamond Art Club came up with their Black Friday sale by then I knew about licensed artwork and I'm still convinced I'm never going to buy things on AliExpress or stores like that again because i think it's really important artists get um, paid for their work so that was once and never doing it again but um yeah like i said diamond art club went come on boom yay I really, really can't talk today. Really not. Um, so Diamond Art Club went up with their Black Friday sale. And they came out with 25 or even more new releases. And I couldn't get, 
couldn't let that pass by. So I bought two. I got some eight by Manny Manzano and Call of the Wild by Chuck Pinson. Um, so I knew it was going to take a while before they would get to me. But I never ordered from them before, just I didn't know how long. And so I moved on with my Lotus Flower diamond painting. And when they came in, I think it took like 14 days. Yeah, it was 14 days. So when they came in, I was halfway with the Lotus Flower. And I knew I couldn't move on with that thing because, like I said, I didn't enjoy it that much. But it was a beautiful picture. But I got so excited for these paintings from Diamond Art Club. And now I'm used to them. I really, really see that the quality of AliExpress is way less. Even though it was kind of good. But Diamond Art Club is just perfection. I think it's just perfection. So when I almost finished Psalm 8, because that was the one I got most excited about, I I'm sorry, I thought someone was coming up to our home. Um, but yeah, that was the one I was the most excited about, so I immediately knew I was going to start with that one. So the lotus flower is still rolled up in its box, waiting for me to continue with it. And in the meanwhile, I ordered some more diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club and other unboxings are up on my Instagram in stories actually I am planning to unbox them for you I already have unboxed them myself because by then I haven't had my YouTube channel but I think it might be fun to unbox them for you guys and um, yeah, which one are they? I got in my second order. So the first one were the Black Friday ones. So my second order, they were uh, Fathoms Below by Mandy Manzano, Willow by Hannah Lynn, and I got one more. What was it? I can't remember, maybe I'll get back to it later. In my second order, I got Biker Betty from Betty Boop. And I got um, Betsy Lynn. Can't remember the name of the artist. I'm really bad at that. I, and I got Fuji Flora. Because when that came out, I couldn't help spending more money. And on my third order, or fourth actually, I got this one I'm working on right now. Which is African Glamour by Marjorie Sernat. Or Sernat. I don't know how to pronounce that. And it has 33 colors and is 56 centimeters by 76 centimeters. And as you can see, it's a round drill. Um, and it's my first round drill. Maybe I'll have a fun story for about this painting for later. 
but I also got Elusive, the final edition, and what one was it? What's my problem? I can't speak and I can't think. I got Peacock. And the other one I remember was uh, Tell Me Stories by Mandy Manzano. And that one actually doesn't have ABs in it. And if you don't know what ABs are, I'll get to it later. So I ordered some separate ABs. Uh, really looking forward to work on that one. So, this is my first round Diamond Art Club kit I ever do. And like I mentioned, this is my first round diamond painting in a long, long time because I didn't enjoy that last one. And it almost got me quit diamond painting. And I really was excited to try a um, round diamond kit from Diamond Art Club because I thought maybe the quality was really good and I expected it to be but I thought maybe if the quality was good it would get me back on track and maybe if it wasn't so much confetti and so I wanted to try it and I chose this one because um, like I mentioned earlier when I was 18 I found out I got pregnant and like I said it wasn't really planned or something but when I found out my best 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 friend she's almost like my sister was in Africa and when I found out she was like maybe three or four months there So, I was, yeah, that was really hard going through that alone, well, with my boyfriend, but yeah, that's a different story. Boyfriend, he was then my boyfriend, now he's my husband. But um, I felt really, really alone in that time. Because I'm the only one from all of my friends with a child and my life really has been changed since then. And I'm really, really happy about it. But like I said, I felt really alone, alone that time and I really needed her. But she wasn't here. She was on like the other side of the world and um, she was doing things for Youth with a Mission. And I really am still proud on her that she did that. But because she did that, we um, couldn't have so many contacts. There was like no Wi-Fi or no possibility to chat on WhatsApp or anything else. And almost no occasions to do Skype conversations. So it was really hard to uh, have contact with each other. And she was going through a rough time too, because she also was alone and she didn't know anyone, but she was there for God and that was enough for her. And like I said, I am so proud of her and it was really hard for both of us for like going through a hard time alone but it really helped remind me that I'm not alone because God is on our side. I've got a song stuck in my head but yeah we were alone but also we were together because we all are united in and by and with God. And um, 
in March 2019, I believe. She uh, got home unexpected. And um, yeah, I think I was around 20 or 22 weeks pregnant. And we um, made something up to Skype with each other. So I was really looking forward to it. And where she lives in that time in Africa, she uh, had a green wall in her bedroom. Almost like, um, let's see, what green is it? Almost like this green. That's DMC 702. And when she called, I saw a white wall. Or was it red? It was white or red. And I was like, did you paint it your room? It's so nice. Because I hated the green. I don't know if I ever told her, but I hated the green. So I was happy about that and she was too, but she was like, no, I didn't paint it. I'm at home in the Netherlands. And I thought she was kidding. And um, then her father showed up and her brother and her mother and she so showed me her house. And I was literally crying from happiness. And when I think about it, how that all happened and stuff. I still get really happy because I felt something like freedom or something, if it makes sense. And um, yeah, I went through to her house and we had such a really good time because we didn't see each other for like nine months. So that was so nice. And my belly was really growing and she felt the baby. And I hate it when other people touched my belly to feel the baby, but I wanted to feel it, to feel I really wanted to feel her hands on my belly and I really wanted to feel her to feel my baby and because she wouldn't be in the Netherlands by the time our baby would get born if that's grammatical correct probably nothing is but okay so I hope they would kind of bond with each other because they could feel each other, if that makes sense. But that was how I felt at that moment. And um, then two weeks later, she went with me to an appointment um, to the midwife to uh, see an echo of the baby. And that was so special. But then she head back to Africa and stayed there for, I don't know, she turned back in April and got back in December. So that's like seven months. And in the meantime, I gave birth to a child, to the child, to the baby, and um, well, we did do some Skyping and chatting, and because she knew what was happening, um, because I was expecting the baby the 26th of July, so she knew when she had to put her phone on and made sure I could contact her. And then 26 didn't happen anything. And the 27th didn't happen anything. 
neither did the 28th. But then it was the 29th. And I was like, hey, I think I'm going to have a baby today. So she really got excited and I got excited even through the pain. And yeah, that was nice. That was really nice. So she really wasn't here when by the time I gave birth. But in December she got home. And they finally met each other and she held our baby. Our baby was four months by then and it was so special. She didn't like it when other people picked her up. She didn't know, but when my best friend picked her up, it was okay everything uh, except all of our milk came out so yeah but my best friend didn't mind it so we cried from happiness and it was such a wonderful moment when we picked her up from the airport and um, yeah. So I have not been in Africa. <laughs> That's not why this diamond painting is special, but a lot happened in my life when Africa was kind of part of my life by then. Because my best friend is part of my life and Africa was her life for like one and a half year so probably this won't make any sense to anybody but to me it does and yeah I really 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 love her and she's back and now she's studying and I'm so proud of her Let me drink some water. I'm sorry. So, next subject. This is an AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis and it sparkles so much. Like, can you see that? Oh. And if you can tell the difference, this is a normal drill. You see, it does sparkle, but not such as this. So Aurora Borealis are drills with a iridescent coating on it. So they sparkle way more than the usual drills they do are a little bit hard to pick up with your drill pen but the end result oh it's gorgeous so now you know a little bit about my life and a little bit around about my crafting journey and i'm thinking about what you should more know about me i don't really really know i do i'm really curious what you guys like to see about me or crafting would you like to just see diamond paintings or would you like to see some adult coloring or crocheting or something else you like? Or um, And if you do want to see diamond painting, which probably will make the main subject on my channel, would you like to see just ASMRs or would you like to see... Whipping chats or 
like this or would you like to see unboxings or if you have any other ideas they're very very welcome and if you want to see me review some companies please let them also down know down below in the comment section because I'd love to do that and to try some more diamond pinning companies because except from Aliexpress and Diamond Art Club I didn't try other companies and because like companies are kind of expensive like Diamond Shop which I'm really excited about to order but I think they're really expensive and I don't know if I want to spend so much money on diamond painting. Um, I think it's a little hard to pick some other diamond painting companies who do have licensed artwork but aren't too expensive. I think price-wise Diamond Art Club is also perfect for me. And um, yeah, not all companies ship to the Netherlands, so that's another thing that's not not important. Um, so yeah, I think that was pretty much it. Like I said, if you have any ideas for me to put up on my channel, please let them down below in the comment section. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, feel free to hit the thumbs down. It doesn't bother me. And um, also, I'd really love if you would press on that subscribe button. It's free. Then if you did that, please hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time. I upload a video and I guess it will be every Saturday, but maybe it will be random too. So hit the bell so you will be notified every time I upload a video. And I think that's it for now, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend and stay yourself. That's the main thing. I love you guys.